Hello and welcome to Highlights of Stage 4 of the Women's Tour. 144.7 kilometres awaiting the riders, starting in Wrexham and finishing in Welshpool. Two intermediate sprints early on in the stage and then the Category 2 and Category 1 climbs. But again, a tough stage in towards the finish. Those uncategorised climbs would help give a 2,108 metre elevation throughout the stage. Lorena Weavers leading Sofia Bertizzolo and Alex Manley by 13 seconds, 18 seconds separating the top 10 no fewer the flag dropped and it was Matt Rymackers that went on the attack for human powered health a short lived move it was Turncher Bikos of team Jumbo Visma that went through the first intermediate sprint of the day she took three bonus seconds ahead of Lily Williams and Micah Van der Down. She was joined at the front by Michaela Harvey, Eleanor Cicchini and Micah Bogard. Eleanor Cicchini, the highest place rider in the general classification. She took the intermediate sprint of Clan Gedwin, head of Harvey and Bogard. And they were then swept up as they headed towards Hernan Bank with Elisa Longo Borghini leading over the top and taking maximum points. But more importantly, a very select leading group was now ahead of the race. Longa Borghini was joined by Lee Shabby, Veronica Ewers, Cassia Nuvia Doma, Ashley Mormon Passio, Grace Brown, Kristen Faulkner, Rihanna Marcus, Elamon Dyke, and Alex Manley. DSM with the British champion Pfeiffer Georgie were trying to defend the lead of Lorena Wiebes, and they could see that breakaway group agonizingly close. Two riders for Canyon Shram. Shabby would end the day in the Green Queen of the Mountains jersey. In towards the finish though, and Grace Brown was the first rider from the leading group to attack the Australian for FDJ, Nouvelle Aquitaine for Juroscope, Elisa Longa Borghini quickly trying to get in on the chase, but Grace Brown, this is what she does best. Behind in the group, DSM would be happy for the assistance from Team Movistar, but through five kilometers to go, they hadn't made contact with that leading group. At the head of the race, though, Grace Brown would be joined by Elisa Longoborghini and Cassia Nuvia Doma, but she certainly didn't make it easy for them. Nuvia Doma, a previous general classification winner, two stage wins. Her last individual win as a pro came in the women's tour in 2019 at Burton Dasset Country Park. In towards the finish, the winner was going to come from the leading trio, Italian champion Longo Borghini and Nuvia Doma maneuvered the Aussie through towards the front. Grace Brown, known for a great sprint. Elisa Longa Borghini had finished high up in the bunch sprint the previous day. She was the first to launch her move. Grace Brown, though, straight into the slipstream. She left it late, but she came through to claim stage four. And with it, 10 bonus seconds, and importantly, the yellow jersey. Second win of the women's tour for FDJ Nouvelle Aquitaine for Churisco. We head to the Black Mountain for stage five. Lorena Wiebes put up a great defense of the yellow jersey. She led the bunch home to take points for the points classification. But your top three look like this. Grace Brown from Cassia Nuvia Doma and Elisa Longo Borghini. Mountain top finish. Who will run out the winner of the women's tour? Nuvia Doma, Longo Borghini and Brown have now given themselves some advantage over the rest of that group behind. Join us for more action from Stage 5.